My name is Yamal Durye, and I'm going to give you a review and a little uh, demo on how to swap your lens out on the GoPro Hero 3. Uh, this lens swap was initially done by Rage Cams, but they give you the equivalent of the stock lens so that you can swap between whatever lens you purchase from them and uh, back to the stock size of the uh, GoPro. What we've got here is I've got the stock lens on. There you can see. Ooh. You want to remember to mute your TV when you're doing this. Uh, for focusing purposes, you uh, connect either to the mini LCD or a big monitor. It's much easier to focus with a big monitor, however. Um, as you can see, there's the lens. And uh, now I'm going to show you how easy it is to swap out lenses and uh, put the other one on. So you simply start unscrewing the lens. Maybe this is a good time to show you how good the macro works. Look at that, that's virtually a centimeter or two away from the lens and you can see every rivet of my finger fingerprint. I'll keep twisting here until this lens comes out. Uh, it's several rotations, so uh, don't get weary. So what I've got here is I've got the 2.8, which is uh, equivalent to the uh, stock GoPro lens. Uh, they offer several different size lenses, uh, 5.4 millimeter, 4 millimeter, uh, 3.6, you know, 1.4, even a 50 millimeter if you're interested. But you just keep unscrewing this counterclockwise until it comes out. Once that's out, peel the protective covering. And now I've got my 5.4 lens. I'm going to put this in. And then we'll pop it on my Phantom and uh, do a little flying, see how that turns out. But as you can see, it's a basic lens. It has two rings to help you focus and a little lens cap. I'll put that on the other lens and then I'll just tighten this one up. It would be good to go. You'll slowly see the image starting to come into focus. And even here, you can see this has a fairly decent macro on it. Once, once you've got it, but there I am coming into focus. All right, I'm really in focus, but the background is not focused. And since I'm going to be flying, I want the focal plane to be the fore, uh, be the background, not the foreground. So using the TV monitor, I just focus that out. You can see once that background room is focused, then you're good. And that's it. It's not as easy as a DSLR, but hey, it's a new lens on a GoPro. Amazing. Quality is great. The lenses are very durable, solid glass. The only thing that's going to break it is if you drop it on concrete or something. So I just wanted to show you what the uh, lens actually comes with. A small cap for the back. And then there's another little plastic cap that sits on the front. And then you can just drop that in a little ziplock. Stick that in your uh, box or your bag or whatever camera thing you keep all your GoPro attachments in. I keep mine in little tins for some extra protection, but uh, there you have it.
As a final note, to really make it easy on yourself to lock the focusing in, uh, follow a suggestion that I took from Dennis over at Rage Cans. He suggested once you have your infinity lined up, make a little notch on your lens. I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to do this, but uh, you know, use something that uh, will leave a permanent mark, but just a tiny little mark. Then, once you have that lined, make another notch for close-ups and another one for mid-range. So try maybe uh, you know 18 inches as your as your macro, and then try another uh, you know do another at maybe six feet for your for your middle focus and uh, then it'll be much easier for you to lock in your focus.